Okay, this movie has been out on Blu-ray and DVD for about a couple weeks now, and for those who haven't seen it or are thinking about renting it or buying it, please, I advise you to watch this review. With that being said, let's talk about the movie. Okay, so, Her. Her is a love story written and directed by Spike Jones, who also wrote Bad Grandpa and is always on the set of Jackass. You know, Johnny Knoxville, Bam Margera, Steve-O, Wee Man, all the guys that I've grown to love personally, yeah, he actually helped out with those movies. And this guy wrote a love story. Sounds weird, I know, but please, let me explain. Her is set in the near future Los Angeles and it stars Joaquin Phoenix. He plays a pretty sensitive and soulful man named Theodore Twombly, and at the moment, he is going through a pretty rough patch in life. Mainly since he's going through a divorce with his wife, he feels as if his whole world is crumbling apart. That is until the world releases its very first artificial intelligence called an OS, which is also short for Operating System. Joaquin Phoenix gets one, and he creates the AI that provides a female voice, which is also voiced by Scarlett Johansson, and from there, we have our movie. And I gotta say, her is a very interesting concept, and I, it's something I've never seen in a movie before. It's new, it's fresh, it's original, and there is a reason why it won an Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay, and I have to say to you guys that it is really well deserved. Joaquin Phoenix did an outstanding job as the main character because in each scene, his acting performance portrayed his feelings and how he's feeling in the moment. Whether he's feeling happy, sad, confused, he absolutely nails every single scene. And his and Scarlett Johansson's chemistry with one another in the movie is absolutely phenomenal. And I have to give props to Scarlett Johansson's voice work as Samantha in the movie because it feels as if she's really human, as if she's really there. And yes, Joaquin Phoenix and the OS build a relationship over time and yeah, they do fall in love. Which is weird because he falls in love with his computer basically, but trust me guys, it's good. And I love the near future world that Spike Jones has put us into because everything is extremely high tech and smart. For example, Joaquin Phoenix writes love letters for a living and how he writes his love letters, he has a computer in which he speaks the letters into the computer and then the computer writes the words out for him. And then all he can say is print and then the letter comes out of the printer. I'm just like, yes, I want that computer so bad. It can really show the expansion of technology for mankind and how far it can go. And whichever way you can look at it, it could either be good or bad. And this movie really shows that. However, though, there are some scenes in the movie that have weirded me out by a lot. And if you guys have seen this movie, you know exactly which scenes I'm talking about. I had the volume on my TV to its absolute max, and then when those scenes arrived, I was like, yep, let's turn the volume down just a little bit. And I'm a big guy when it comes to soundtrack, and the soundtrack done by Arcade Fire was absolutely incredible. That mixed with amazing camera work done by Spike Jones makes every scene in this movie unforgettable. But let's get real here, what made the movie for me is the conversations between Joaquin Phoenix and Scarlett Johansson. There's probably about five or six scenes within the movie, if I'm not mistaken, that they're just sitting down and just talking. Well, the camera is focused on Joaquin Phoenix, but you can hear Scarlett Johansson's voice speaking back to him. Granted, he's going through a divorce with his wife right now, and the OS is actually helping him out through his situation. It really shows the human side of the OS, and I thought that was extremely fascinating. And the conversations they would have with one another is very relatable, and I believe one out of those five or six scenes made me tear up a little bit. Because sometimes Joaquin Phoenix's character wakes up in the middle of the night feeling alone, he doesn't know what to do, and he falls, on, he falls back on this OS to help him out, and then I felt these scenes are very beautiful. And to be honest, I wish I had an OS voiced by Scarlett Johansson to fall back on. So Her is an interesting concept with really good acting, a soundtrack, and amazing camera work. Chemistry between Joaquin Phoenix and Scarlett Johansson is remarkable, yet some scenes weirded me out by a lot. And it's a real good lesson how far mankind should take technology. Alright, a new rating point, and I give Her a 4.5 out of 5. Some of you guys wanted me to go into the .5 ranges, and I hope this is a more accurate rating for my reviews. That is until I come up with my own rating system, which is going to be coming up pretty soon. But in the meantime, I have to get going. Peace!